Hi, this is Amber. I'm a mom of loving kids, and we live in New York City. And I'm gonna show y'all what we eat in a week. We are having mirin chicken tonight. This is something my mom made when I was a kid. And usually we don't go grocery shopping on Wednesday, but today <laughs> we just came home from the grocery store. So it's actually my daughter. She's um, 15, Naomi. Thank you. <laughs> she made it for us. But that's why things are a little bit more chaotic than normal around here. So the shopping is what made it more chaotic. Not Naomi making the food. <laughs> Naomi making the food was very nice. <laughs> so here it is. It has mushrooms, lots of mushrooms. And it has like a sweet, uh, I'll tell you actually what it has in it. Here's my mom's trusty book. It has chicken, mushrooms, half cup of sweet cooking rice wine, soy sauce, ground ginger, white pepper, garlic cloves, and brown sugar. So, looking good. Yeah, it has sugar in it. It's kind of sweet. Well, sweet and Daddy like a teriyaki. Kind of I'm serving it with green beans so it's healthy. Healthy earth. <laughs> so here's our plate. I'm giving it a try. Mmm, What do you think, Mark? It's delicious, I think. Yummy. Thank you, Naomi. It's so good. You're welcome. The kids made a little a little house out of the box that Elijah's cello case came in. Elijah got a new cello case. You guys having fun in there? Yeah. It was outside, but it started raining today, so they. That's pretty cool. You even have like a little window over there. That's impressive. Cutting the mango. That's so cute. It's so beautiful. It looks like a flower. Hey guys, welcome to Thursday night. We are having stuffed peppers. We used to make stuffed pepper casserole. The kids got tired of that. And before I made another stuffed pepper recipe, but it had the peppers standing up, and it was just it was like too much bell pepper for the kids. This like one, it. you I liked it? Yeah. You liked it? Okay. I don't even like bell pepper. Well, this time, um, it seemed like the perfect combination because the in this recipe, the bell peppers are cut in half and like on their side, so it's like the perfect combination. And the kids liked it, so we're gonna make it again. We double this recipe for a family of 12. Elijah's dressed in his Star Wars outfit. They're gonna go see the Empire State Building is having a light show. Yep. And the, the, one of the famous actors is actually at the Empire State Building tonight. Nice. Picking up the onions. Just putting in the beef. It has a little bit of baking soda in it. It's baking soda or baking powder. Baking, baking soda. Yeah, it's interesting. It's a really interesting recipe. But it's it's salt good. and baking soda in the meat. And it's supposed to sit for a little bit. Okay. Boy's reading a book. So the peppers have cooked in the oven and uh, softened up and now we're just filling the peppers with, uh, with their filling. So now we're just going to put the rest of the cheese on there. Here's the beautiful peppers. And Mark put some Havarti and cheddar cheese on there. How long were they in the oven for first? Uh, about 25 minutes. Okay, and he took them out and put this filling in there, put the cheese on top. And how long are they going to go in? Uh, let me check the recipe here. Looking good. Smells amazing. 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Yeah. Here are the beautiful peppers all done. 
cookies. So yummy. Your hot <laughs> Serving it with this ciabatta baguettes. Here's the pretty little pepper. Mmm, super good. It has some cumin in there, so it's really tasty. Mmm. Why'd you came home? How was it? It was great. I mean, here, I'll, I'll give you the clips and you can show everybody. Okay. So what did they have? Oh, inside they had, um, you know, Star Wars Legos, a Hasbro, stuff like that. It was it's awesome. so cool. I'm inside the Empire State Building right now. Got these cool exhibits. So cool. Welcome to Friday night. We are having corn chowder from the Barefoot Contessa. This is a favorite of Naomi's. Every time she hears what we're making, then she's like, oh, cool. So we've, um, we've made this before in our Eat Week videos. It's basically just half and half food. Corn and potatoes and onions. Onions. Turmeric. Turmeric, chicken broth. And it's bacon, <laughs> too. It smells amazing. Yeah, it starts with bacon. Kids love it. Getting cooked in, and the grease from the bacon being used to, to cook the onions. Yeah, usually, even though this is a giant pot, the kids pretty much eat it all, so it's a, it's a hit. Here are the cheddar rolls where you're going to have this with it. It is from Trader Joe's. They're from Trader Joe's, and the kids really love them. Oh, we got three. And also, we're going to put a little bit of uh, white cheddar, right? Mommy, here. my favorite meal of the week. <laughs> so, Mark put some of the cheese in the soup, and then some of the cheese we used for a garnish with the bacon. Yeah. And uh, we have more than that, so yeah, the rest will be strong. So, part is garnish. And then also you're supposed to garnish it with the bacon. Yum! There's the picture in the cookbook. And I think this is the first uh, Barefoot Contessa cookbook. I'm just going to wrap up the rolls and stick them in the oven. Soup is ready. And you always make me some more of these ultimate chocolate cookies. They're so good. They're from Two Peas and their pod. And uh, we made these before and they are Super indulgent and yummy. It's a hit. Cheddar roll. Yay! Yay! Oh, Did you get a cheese roll, Mo? I got that. Yeah, you got that. Here's the soup, the chowder, I guess. And here's a little bit of bacon, a little bit of cheese. Yeah. Yep. 
Hey, yeah. You're in it. <laughs> you want me to start? Do you like it, Moishi? Yeah. yeah. Haley's really sweet. She's cutting your mango for you. Are you excited about your mango, Mom? <laughs> he ate all of his food. There we go. Whoa! What did you do? I did. Maybe cut it off. <laughs> Oh yeah, maybe I should. That would be a good idea. It's too bulky. <laughs> Whatever. That is bulky. That is it's bulky. Too bulky. That is bulky. Yeah. Too bulky. Is it a mango? Yeah. Oh, it's a mango. How did I know it was a mango? I didn't yes. know it was a mango. Here are those amazing. Chocolate, chocolate cookies, so good. They're more chocolate than us, and she had the right amount of cocoa powder. No, I didn't. I don't have the right amount. Still, oh, they're, still, they're still quite a bit in there. I think there's more than last time, though. For Melody! For Melody! Mm. You already had one. Oh, okay. No, I don't. Hey, Mom. Is that good, Mo? Is that the mango? Thing? Anyway, Sir, I didn't cut it as nice as Daddy, but you did a great job. Say hi to Daddy. Hi, 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 Daddy. Hey guys, welcome to Saturday evening. We are having burritos, but also we're having noodles. And I'm making some right now. From Trader Joe's. Enoch is our little chef over here. I love it. So he's making some noodles from Trader Joe's. Just these are actually yeah. very good. They taste like they're from a rest restaurant. Yeah, they're really good. Okay, anyway, but the rest of us are having burritos. Some of the kids are at pre college yeah. junior yard. What do you want? Pop. You want a lollipop? Yeah. That's not on the menu right now, buddy. Um, okay. um not done. How in are your noodles minutes. coming, Chef Enoch? Mm -hmm. Well, they're not really a chef, but <laughs> I know how to cook eaters. Here are my noodle eaters. <laughs> Here's Mama's burrito, black beans, sour cream, salsa, and cheese. <laughs> Happy eating. Kids are home from Juilliard. How'd it go today? Good. Good. Yumi's having so a waffle. Long. I think, did Anna make the waffles, guys? I'm not sure. Probably, I think Anna made the waffles. Noah's also having waffles. Homemade waffles. You can actually reheat them in the toaster, which is really cool. Ooh, ooh, Timu. How's it go? I don't know how the song goes. Shop like a billionaire. Okay, so we're shopping like a billionaire. <laughs> Say it, Moses. Say, ooh, ooh, Tammy. <laughs> he was saying it. It was so cute. Okay. <laughs> what is this? Let's see. <gasps> cool. I think it is a dish rack, guys. Yeah. Like a double decker oh, dish rack. That is so that. cool. We're definitely going to use that. Oh, my goodness. Just wow. have to assemble that. Uh, I'm the dish doer. He's so. a dish doer, so he's, he's very happy. Yeah. Some, not everything fits in our dishwasher. So. Oh. <laughs> he always does it right before it does. <laughs> <laughs> He's my Temu kid. Okay, let's see what this is. Let's do it on. <gasps> That's so pretty. Look at that. Oh, what is it? It's, a, it's a pretty little apron. Oh, nice. Do nice. you want to put it on? Nice. Sure. Come on, you can do it. You have to iron it a bit. Wow. Yeah. Color is nice. That is so cute. Oh my goodness. Hey, that's perfect for Naomi. Tie it in the baking, back. Tie it in the back. Constantly baking cookies. Cute. Okay, give me the twirl. Cuteness. Let's see if this is. Oh, another oh, apron. Another oh, apron. Cute. Oh, look, it has the pockets. This one is oh, so another cute. Another apron. Oh, wow. Oh, pretty pockets. Those are 
darling. Let's try this one. I feel like I love Lucy. Lucy, I'm home. Lucy. <laughs> Lucy. Looks good, Mama. Looks really I've good. I've been baking. <laughs> I baked cookies Mama the other day. <laughs> what do you think, Mo? Do you like it? Yeah. I actually like the fabric. It's pretty. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Now. <laughs> singing the commercial. Okay, let's see what this is. <gasps> You're excited? It's like Christmas. Yeah, it is. It's like Christmas. Yeah. Oh, cool. Those are awesome. Wow. <gasps> Look at that. Look at all those containers. We put all of it? our oh. stuff in there. You know what? Like this Isn't that cool? Oh, wow. It's really awesome. Ta da. I bet you could put spaghetti in here. Spaghetti? Yeah, I Why think so. You could put oh, pasta yeah. in there, yeah. No, like cereal. I think that's what you Oh, yeah, we could use that for cereal. Huh? But then why? Well, that works. Yeah. Okay. We could organize it. Actually, that's a good idea. This is She's great. Ready. You have to do it a little bit. I'm not sure what this is. It's a bin. It's like a little okay, store. All the, all the baking stuff that's flying oh, around. Oh, okay, like a pantry organizer. Maybe they saw my pantry. Hey. <laughs> they decided we did some organizing. That's brilliant. Yeah. I'm, what do you think, Mark? Great. Yeah. Daddy's always the one organizing the stuff. Let's we'll see what this is. Yeah. Oh, you want these scissors? Here, pause it. <laughs> See what it is. <gasps> so cute. Look. Cookie cutters. What do you think, Nace? Oh, wow. Looks. That's amazing. Oh, those are can awesome. Can you make some cookies with those? And look, you can make little Valentine cookies. That's great for next you can year. You say you and me. Yes. It's Valentine's Day every day around here, guys. That's so cute. Okay, let's see. Okay. Oil hearts, those are so pretty. Yeah. Do like I don't know, I think you can use it for like placemats of a fancy dining experience. <gasps> Ooh, look at this. This is like a little cookie press so you can make pretty oh, very nice. cookies. That is Wait, so cute. Can cute. I see? Let's see. Oh. <laughs> This is. I would I say know. they're for like they're for, for some sort of. I don't know if those because those aren't quite for like muffins. Mm, I'll figure it out. I'll make something beautiful with them. What are these? These are little. I think they are like cupcake Easter. liners. These are our cupcake liners. They're just like a little Easter bit colors. different. So what do you think, Naomi? What can we do with these? Looks like Easter colors. They look, they're like little bun yeah, fans see. almost. Maybe. Yeah, they're like sure maybe for knows. mini cakes. Mini cakes, maybe? Upside down pineapple cake. Wow. Very cool. Oh, cool. <gasps> yeah, they're just cupcake molds. So. Interesting. Very nice. Cool. Silicone. Mama. And these are little heart bags. How cute is that? Wow. And then heart cookie cutters. Mm. Mm, I'm not sure. You can make oh, little lips. Oh, that's nice. That's cute. Wow. Very fun. That's Lots of cookie I'm not stuff. Sure what this is, but it looks like a trophy. Come on, that's a trophy. Oh, okay. There you go. You won my heart. There we go. So I'm going to pretend to be Lucy from I Love Lucy and make some cookies. Hmm. Put the other one in. Hey, Momo. Can lean too hard on him and go. <laughs> so hopefully Anna's pre-college Juilliard audition decision, well, for the pre-screening has come in, and 
We're gonna find out if Anna made it past the pre-screening. So let's see. I think she did a really, really you, good job. You click it. Let's see. Ah, I am pleased to inform you that the faculty have reviewed your application and pre-screening materials and show and would like to invite you to audition for the Juilliard Free College. All right. Yay. She did good a, job. I was, I was there that at was her pre-screening. She did a really good, good job. job. And the accompanist told me, I think she's going to get past. And I thought so too. So I'm not surprised. Good job, Anna. Good job, Anna. I'm proud of you. Good job. You excited for Anna? Yeah. <laughs> Exciting. Why am I excited? Oh, yeah. Are you excited? excited too? Yeah. You excited for Anna? Mm -hmm. uh, you, tell me. <laughs> you organizing like a billionaire? I Mark? am like a billionaire. Thank you very much. Are we marinating flank steak, Mo? Yeah. He's having a little peanut butter snack. So here's our flank steaks. This is my mom's recipe. You'll have to put this on our yeah. website. Soy sauce, garlic, pepper, ground ginger, brown sugar, sesame seeds, green onions. I don't know how those simple ingredients make the steak taste so good, but they do. And we're gonna grill it tomorrow after church. Hey guys, welcome to Sunday afternoon. We just got back from church and from Easter shopping. Look. We have to get stuff for our Easter egg hunt, huh? Look, look. I can't believe <laughs> you, got you got some stuff. Anyway, so we are having flank steak, teriyaki, and we're having kebabs, veggie <laughs> kebabs with um, pineapple. This is mom's recipe, or my granny's recipe, and Mark's gonna put it on our website soon. It's pretty simple, it just has like soy sauce and a little bit of brown sugar, sesame seeds, green onions. Good yeah, that's stuff. Meat. Is that the meat? That, Mo's that a meat lover. <laughs> I love meat too. Yeah. I can't believe Easter is meat next too. week. Yeah, Easter's next week. Seems we excited. crazy. We went, we went to Wegmans today and bought a ham, so that was our excitement for today. <laughs> And we went to Target and we got like Easter egg stuff. It's over here. Baskets and all that good stuff. Let me say karaoke. I don't know how to do it. Looking good. Delicious. Chicken, though, it's steak. I think, maybe. Mmm. Yeah. You want, yeah. want me to show your steak? Yeah. Okay, there's your steak. Give it a go. Daddy, which barbecue one do we save if we just left it open, right? Yum. <laughs> what do you mean? That's a pineapple. Hey guys, welcome to Monday night. We are having lentil soup tonight. And yes, we are. this has been a staple for our family for like years. Yep. Like since Josiah was a baby and he's 21 now. I lose yeah. track of time. <laughs> anyway, yeah. so this is a good healthy meal and we used to make it weekly, but we're trying to like be more exciting with our meals. Actually, ever Kids since I got pregnant, yeah. Ever since I got pregnant with Moses, I don't know, for some reason after that, I wanted to have like more exciting meals. The kids kind of didn't care one way or the other as long as there were cookies afterwards. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> but they do now appreciate they the bar. Now they've become gourmet variety. Anyway, so they did not have normal lentils at our store so we got these kind of weird lentils they're what are they called speckled dark speckled 
lentils. Yeah. That's oh, right. I cut the bottom of so, the bag there. They're weird, so they're kind yeah. of like, um, I don't know, they remind me a little bit of French lentils, those French green ones, but they have speckles on them. So this is an, a bit of an experiment. But the rest of what goes in there is kind of the standard stuff you put in soup. And, and the bottom of the pan, did you put um, butter and olive oil or just, okay, yeah. Yes. So we put butter, butter and olive oil. Um, if you're vegan or a vegetarian, you can just put um, olive oil, obviously. And then we put in onions and carrots and celery. And then over here, um, Mark had the potatoes already ready. This is just a russet potato with the skin removed. Put it in water so it doesn't get brown. And then, how, how much cups of lentils is there now? So there's also a couple golden potatoes. Oh, he puts it, okay, he snuck some yeah. golden potatoes in there. How many cups of lentils do we use now? Uh, I think just one, right? Yeah, so we we used to do more. I think it's one and a quarter, maybe? We used to put like, put, we used put to put like three cups of lentils in there, and the kids were like, there's too many lentils, it's too stewy. So they like it to be more brothy. So this is, if you want it to be really, really hearty, you can just add more lentils. If you're not worried about the heartiness of it, like our kids really like the broth, yeah, you can do less. So it is movable. It's a movable recipe. Or what do you call it? What would you call it? Like, it's adjustable. Adjustable. It's an adjustable recipe. <laughs> so he put in the lentils and we're kind of stirring them around. Yeah, we're putting in the potatoes. Yeah, and the, potatoes. Uh, the onions are translucent and everything's kind of well sauteed. Those are interesting. We'll see how these, how these lentils fare. They're kind of pretty. And then chicken broth goes in. Yeah. And that's, uh, that's it. Kirkland chicken stock. What's going on? Noah's playing with toys. That's baby blocks. Turn into a bowling So there's about three of these chicken stock cartons in there. We allow this to come to a boil and then we let it simmer for about I don't know, 20 minutes, and when the lentils are soft and everything is nice consistency, then it's ready to eat. Mark's trying an experiment. He's putting some bay leaves in there. This isn't what the original recipe had. At the end, it just has some time, but bay leaves, I don't know if they add a little something, a little flavor. something special, so we'll see. <laughs> we'll pull those out. So we're going to have this half-baked pizza with it. You want milk? Yeah. yeah, okay. Can you talk about the bread? <laughs> anyway, so we're going to bake this and it's going to be nice and crusty and we're going to get most of the milk, okay? Yeah. So here's your milk, buddy. Are you going to eat the bread I made you? Yeah. Jam bread? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's kind of the king of asking for snacks and then just letting them sit on the counter. So hopefully he actually eats it. At least you're asking for stuff. That's good. Good talking, Mo. He's also, this is the other thing, he always is wrapping up things and making them as presents. And we open them and we're very excited. Should I open your present, Mo? No, that. Oh, it's for Daddy? Oh, it's for Daddy. Okay, Daddy gets to open the present. You want to open the present for Mo? No, it's for Daddy. It's for Daddy. It's for Daddy? Hey, Mo, what'd you get? What'd you get for me? Dad. Is that a present for me? Yeah, really for me? Yeah. Oh, ready? Oh, I've always wanted one of these. Thank you. Dad. I appreciate it. And the way it works is sometimes Daddy has to open it two or three times. <laughs> what is that? It's lots of fun. He's learned the he's learned the art of giving gifts. Okay, so I think our bread is ready. You want to wipe your hands? Hot pads. I'm going to have to burn myself. Okay. Ta-da! Yeah. said. Which one? Does that mean straight or something? Quiet, please. I don't know. I don't know my fiance. Yes. I don't know. Is that, is that Italian? Is that? Or is it, oh, maybe it's Picciate. I don't know. I'm not sure.
here it is. This bread is so nice because it's crispy on the outside, super soft on the inside. Yummy, yummy. Here's our soup. It is bubbly, bubbly. Probably almost done. I'm gonna see if the lentils are tender yet. It's been about 20 minutes, but the lentils are still crunchy. Probably because there's those um, little speckled lentils, so I think they're gonna take a little longer. Good though, tastes good. Just wrong texture, a little bit more cooking. So the soup is ready because over there having a working dinner because they're working on getting some of their schoolwork ready because we're meeting with our teacher tomorrow. We have an online teacher. So she just checks to make sure we're all at home. And I'm making the picture. You like dipping the bread in the soup? It's and I'm making a picture. And you're making a picture, yep. Here's the soup. It's all ready. Looks like there's new lentils are looking good. Let's see if I can find them. <laughs> They're buried in the soup so you can see the texture. You can actually see it better in the bowl. I'll put some more broth in here, but that's what they look like. Those speckled lentils they look good. This is what it looks like with the broth, <laughs> steamy lens. Sometimes we put sour cream in there. You can put Parmesan cheese or just have it straight. But this bread is really good with it. You want to try? That is so good. Mm. Good. The bay leaves actually add a really nice extra layer in there. So happy eating. Girl came home. Who'd you meet today? I met Hillary home today. That's so cool. How did you meet her? Um, it was a event thingy, and you signed up if you signed up in time, and you got to attend a conversation with her so oh was it nice mm -hmm. she's really nice huh yep what hey guys welcome to tuesday night today we went shopping at costco we did not make it to trader joe's in time but for dinner we're having our famous costco pizza we are also got a rotisserie chicken and a caesar salad so easy shopping meal oh and the kids get to have their one soda a week <laughs> Like that, huh? Yeah, just demonstrating our soda drinking for the week. <laughs> None for you yet, Mishnetta. You will. But you. There's our lovely Caesar salad from Costco. Oh, wow. Do you need another one? Yeah, our old one is broken. Oh. 